Today, Pat Tillman would have turned 41 years old. The football icon turned serviceman leaves a strong legacy after dying in Afghanistan 13 years ago. Reporter Ryan Curry checked in with some of the people who knew Pat Tillman best. To Jake Plummer, Pat Tillman was far more than a teammate on the 1996 Arizona State football team that went undefeated in the regular season and made it to a Rose Bowl. Once you became a friend with him, you realized how much of a good friend he was. He was always there for you. He's always challenging you to be a better person, a better human, a better man. And then on from here to the Cardinals and playing in the pros, you know, just a guy who was an exceptional character that didn't just talk about it, but really lived that live the lifestyle. Plummer said Tillman was dedicated to success and a friend with everyone he met, including Doug Tamaro, the assistant media relations director for Sun Devil Athletics. The first thing that you noticed about Pat is he was his hair, um, and then he was loud, you know, when he talked, when he joked around in a dining hall up at camp, um, in his interviews, um, you know, he had no filter. Um, but that was the main thing. And then that he was smart. Just in talking to him, you could tell the guy was on another level. Is to Brown, and he's thrown for a loss by Pat Tillman. Following his tenure as a Sun Devil, Tillman advanced to the NFL but remained in the Valley playing four seasons with the Arizona Cardinals. But following the 9 11 attacks, he cut his professional career short to serve his country in Iraq. He remained connected with friends and family while in the military, including Perry Edinger, a former athletic trainer at ASU who helped Tillman through shoulder surgery when he was a freshman. He had qualities I thought that were really outstanding. Dedication to whatever he was doing, to um, moral attitude about things. Um, he really stood up for things. Um, he read a lot and knew a lot and he could talk to you about just about anything. And um, he wanted to be really good. You know, and so he just really felt he would be. He checked on me prior to his last employment. That's the kind of friend he was. I should have been checking on him, but he was calling me to see how I was doing. So that says a lot about the guy, and I'm just one of many, many people who've been influenced that way by his friendship. Although Pat Tillman died in 2004, he is still the most popular person here at Sun Devil Stadium. His number 42 is on nearly every wall, and fans still wear the number 42 jersey on game day. Players have started a new tradition of walking out of Tillman Tunnel behind me and placing their hands on the new Tillman statue before they take the field on game day. You know him, I think he'd be a little upset that there's a statue of him because he didn't like a lot of the, the accolades. Um, he loved to be cheered and encouraged and feel that energy, but you know, he, I don't know if he would really love all the attention he's getting, but hey, what better person to focus on and tell your children about uh, if you want to talk about what he did between the time he was born and the time he left us, you know, the guy accomplished a whole lot of stuff. Who would like a statue of himself? Not too many. Pat, I know, would appreciate and understand all the good that's come out of this 14 years later. Uh, you don't think of Arizona State without thinking of Pat Tillman. Uh, you, you know, you don't think of 42 and not think of Pat Tillman. And that was kind of the goal when we started, is we just didn't want people to ever forget all that he meant to us. Because before he was USA, he was ASU. Following Tillman's death in 2004, the Pat Tillman Foundation approached Tamaro and Edinger, asking them to help think of ways to honor their friends. They planned a 4.2 mile run in memory of his number 42, that was only projected to get 800 participants. Now the event maxes out at 28,000 runners. It's the power of Pat. I mean, um, if you, you really have to think about this. Um, how many people, if the starting point is when you pass away, how many people have made the impact that Pat Tillman has made? Throws and it's intercepted. This is Pat Tillman. For many people, Pat Tillman was more than a soldier and football player. He was a man who was with and for others. The run and the statue are ways for people who didn't know him to also be inspired by his legacy. On the back of the statue, there's a plaque that reads, May Pat Tillman's courage, both on the field and while serving his country, be an inspiration to all. I'm always thankful and I feel blessed that I got to know Pat Tillman. I'm also thankful and blessed that it was the era that it was. I looked back and reflected, you know, and I was like, 
I hope he thought of me with that, you know? It was, because all these people were so good and so strong, and his friend. And I was also his friend, and I just want to be part of that.